Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center and today we're gonna talk about what makes gaming smartphones different from non-gaming smartphones. Have you noticed lately about the new breed of smartphones? Aside from the growing popularity of the folding phone, gaming smartphones are all on the range right now. The rise of mobile gaming incentivize smartphone manufacturers to make even more gaming focused devices. So are they just regular smartphones with slightly better specs on some areas or are these things common among these monstrous computing devices? Here's five distinct features that a gaming smartphone could or should have. We are not saying that all these things exist in a single smartphone but more often than not these come as standard to be able to say that a smartphone is quote unquote gaming focused. Number one, high refresh display. What's the difference between a high resolution and a high refresh display? High resolutions are typically above 1080p, which is the 1440p or 4K AMOLED displays. Mostly seen on flagship smartphones. You've seen those already. High refresh rates, however, are displays higher than 60 Hz. This is the standard refresh rate even on desktop or laptop monitors. Gaming smartphones can have, get this, 120 Hz or even 144 Hz, 144 Hz refresh rates, which provides a very smooth animation for gaming. It also allows the player, the user, or you to react sooner to moving targets or elements in the UI. You have to see it to appreciate it. The ASUS ROG Phone 3, the ZTE Nubia Red Magic 5G, all have 14.4 Hz refresh rates and a 1080p resolution. That's full HD. The OnePlus 8 Pro has a 120 Hertz refresh rate with a 1440p resolution, 1440p resolution. And notice that as the refresh rate increases, the effective resolution decreases. Well, it's all about trade off or balance to preserve battery life and maintain a cool thermal for the smartphone. Next, Gaming smartphones have enormous battery capacity. The Asus ROG Phone 3 has 6,000 milliamp battery. ZTE Nubia Red Magic 5G 4,500 milliamp. Xiaomi Black Shark 3 Pro 5,000 milliamp. If you plan on gaming for longer sessions, your smartphone need to last longer. Yes, you can plug in your smartphone to a power bank while you're gaming, but that's not a wise idea if you want to maintain the performance of your smartphone. Your typical smartphone nowadays have 2,500 to 3,000 milliamp battery capacity. It's perfect for regular tasks, but for high refresh rate gaming, a bigger lithium power source is needed. That's why the big gaming smartphone brands are packing the highest possible battery to give you the edge to win. Number three, even bigger storage. OnePlus 8 Pro and Xiaomi Black Shark 3 Pro give you 256 gig of internal storage. And so is the Asus ROG Phone 3. ZTE Nubia Red Magic 5G, 128 gigabytes. We all know that game files when downloaded locally in your smartphone can take up a lot of space, I mean a lot. So gaming smartphones in following this principle needed to have big storage spaces for these games. 256 gigabytes is great but having the option of adding more through an external micro SD card is even better. This means that you can allocate your faster internal storage for your games and your external storage for all your other files. Number four, custom cooling solution. How does your smartphone keep itself cool? 
simple. It transfers the heat from the CPU and other components from the inside to the outside of the case. That's why when you hold your smartphone that just gained for a few hours, you can feel that it's very, very hot. Yes, you are basically the heat sink of the smartphone. You absorb and transfer the heat from the device to your hands. Gaming smartphones, on the other hand, goes way beyond the solution and provides you with a custom cooling solution to accelerate this process. You will not see it, but inside an Asus ROG Phone 3 are bigger copper heat sinks and thermal paste. Yes, same thing you use on your desktop and laptop CPU. In effect, it can dissipate heat faster in your hands than your conventional smartphone. Number five, performance, performance, performance. It's all about the performance. If your gaming smartphone has a weak CPU, it will not stay on top that long. Samsung Galaxy S20, Snapdragon 865 chipset. The same with Xiaomi Black Shark 3 Pro and the ZTE Nubia Red Magic 5G. Asus ROG Phone 3 has got a better one. It's got the Snapdragon 865 Plus. In short, only the best processor with the highest possible speed will be allowed in this category. No compromises. As soon as a new high-performance processor is released, a gaming smartphone could have that hardware to maximize your gaming credibility, if only on paper. Now you see how gaming smartphones are different from your pedestrian smartphones. They are based on performance, endurance, and efficiency. Although your smartphone has these qualities too, but nothing beats a smartphone that has that was specifically built, designed, and sold to be good at one thing, gaming. Thank you for joining us today, guys. If you like this video, click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, cheers.